Greetings Tram Surfers and welcome to lesson number 35 in the 78 day reality Tram Surfing practical lessons and today's lesson is called Dropping Importance. Before I start, press the like, share and subscribe button and hit the bell so that you're notified on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays. Did you know that all unbalanced emotions and reactions such as indignation, irritation, dissatisfaction, even anxiety and worry, depression, confusion, despair, fear, pity, dependency, lust, oversensitivity, idealization, admiration, delight, disappointment, shame, blame, pride and conceit, contempt, repulsion, resentment, and so on and so forth, are all the result of overstating any, any importance on anything. And then what happens is the energetic pendulum hooks you up onto the strings of these emotions and turns you into a puppet that it can play with because your energy is then feeding that pendulum. So dropping importance does not mean battling with your feelings and trying to suppress them or even turning into a doormat. No, it means addressing the cause and the underlying attitude, really, really getting to the root of it. You have to reach the point where you can see that importance leads to nothing but trouble. And then you deliberately reduce the importance that you attribute to things. The art of surrender. You see, problems as such do not actually really and truly exist. All that really exists is an artificially inflated evaluation of the importance of things which is stemmed from your ego. And when a person becomes aware of their problems and becomes aware that their problems are all in the mind of illusion, they can then intentionally reduce the importance of everything that continuously troubles them. It's all in your mind. Note, do not play down their meaning, just reduce the importance. Watch the game as a detached observer from a distance, quietly and impartially from a space of neutrality. And by reducing the importance, you will instantly return to a state of wholeness and balance. And the pendulums will then stop controlling you and using you as bait to feed their energy. In the empty space, you free up. There will be nothing for them to hook onto. And by you freeing up into that empty space, you also start a liberation process of yourself coming into that beautiful spaciousness. This does not mean that you have to have a heart of stone. Emotions are born of our attitude and so is our attitude, which should be changed. You see, feelings and emotions are just an effect the cause is the importance that you're giving that effect. So let's say that, for example, in my family, there's been a birth or a death or a wedding or some other significant event. Would the event be important to me? 
No. Would I be indifferent? Likewise, no. Do you get the difference? I would not publicize the event into a problem or drive myself and others around me mad because of it. A strong deviation towards any outer importance breeds fanatics and a deviation towards inner importance breeds idiots. So wake up. Be aware, drop importance, come back to the space of neutrality and raise your vibrational field. Till next time, bye bye from Tufty.